All right, Joe's here with a look at our weather. You know, we know things always change a they lot do. in Oregon. Man, they, they change never quick, fails. although our long-range models don't change. We've been getting teased yes. for almost two, three weeks, you know, uh, right. saying, hey, in another seven days, we're going to be seeing temperatures in the mid-70s, close yeah. to 80. That was the case a couple of weeks ago. Never happened. Never and happened, the warmest no. we've seen was 68, March 18th. Wow. So we're closing in on almost a month where we've seen the warmest day of the year. And we're not going to be getting much of a warm-up over the next couple of days. What we are going to be seeing is more of the same cool and wet. I know I sound like a broken record saying that, but that's what exactly in, is in store heading into tomorrow. We have our next front that's going to be moving through here overnight, impacting the coast first, obviously. But as we zoom out a little bit, you can kind of see picking up a little bit of some light showers along the northern part of the coast. But uh, this is what we're going to be looking at the next couple of days, just some cool and wet weather and a little bit of some unstable air. So there's a good chance we'd be seeing some thunderstorms develop heading into tomorrow and potentially into Monday as well. Well, again, the the warmest day this month was 62 degrees yesterday. Uh, this is the first time this month where we've seen back to back days temperatures 60 or above. One thing we haven't seen is 70. It's been missing. I know a lot of people are hoping to see it. Same with me included, and we're not going to be seeing any threat of 70 degrees anytime soon. Now the average uh, for April, we get right around four or five days, 70 or above. That has not happened here on uh, the la latest day for uh, 70 degrees on the record book is back in 1967, May 5th of 67. Right now we're seeing a temperature of 54 degrees, relatively mild out there. Now as we queue up the future cast and break down your Sunday morning forecast, up and down the I-5 corridor tomorrow morning, basically from sunrise until about 738, we will be dry. But then heading into the later part of the morning and the afternoon, those showers increase. And we'll start to see the snow levels drop a little bit heading into the early part of the week as well. And that includes uh, basically Monday night and the two Tuesday with snow levels right around 1500 feet. So how much rain are we talking? Well, this model is taking us all the way into uh, Tuesday afternoon. We could be looking at close to an inch of a rain in a few locations. If let's say these numbers are right on, we get right around an inch of rain or so. We'll be looking at more than four inches, almost four and a half inches of rain for the entire month of April. Now, remember last April we saw record amounts of rain, so uh, we'll see what what's in store, but we definitely gonna be seeing some wet and windy conditions heading into tomorrow uh, throughout the morning hours. We'll see those gusts pick up about 25 30 miles an hour per along the coast and throughout the metro area in the valley uh, right around 25 to 30 miles an hour as well. Currently we're looking at temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s and I kind of want to talk more about the drought situation. Things are looking pretty uh, throughout parts of the northwest side of the state, but where again where that drought it's persisting is throughout the high desert near Bend and Madras where that red color is. So if you're wondering uh, how California is doing well. This is what happens when you have atmospheric river after atmospheric river for three or four months. You pretty much uh, see your drought wiped out, and that's what we're seeing throughout parts of southern Oregon. And all that rain and snow is really helping us here in the Pacific Northwest and down in California with our snowpack. Uh, essentially, 138 percent of normal throughout the Oregon Cascades and throughout the Northwest. Tomorrow we are going to be seeing some rain showers. Rain continues into Monday. It's slight chance for some thunderstorms both tomorrow and into. To Tuesday and then we'll gradually warm up. Things get a little nicer heading into Friday right around the upper 50s and we'll be looking at <laughs> another round of showers next weekend. So just expect to see cool and wet conditions basically the rest of the month. Man, thank you, Joe. That's not much of a warm up. though. No, not at all. Uh, no, yeah. I call 70 75 a warm up at this point. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with that. Thanks a lot. Hey,